Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs, if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. James, did you wake up at midnight? Did you wake up your brother at 4 a.m.? Did we go for a car drive at 6 a.m. and then you finally fell back asleep? Has dad been awake since midnight? Would I want it any other way? So, um, it is 5.30. Oh, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. 5.30. Uh, we're not going out anywhere out tonight. Teddy's taking a nap right now. He took a nap earlier, which is great because he had a, 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 a bit of a rough go last night. Not as, not as much as this guy. But still a rough go. Uh, I'm making some noodles for dinner. Oh, and you know what? When your brother wakes up, we can go for a walk. You want the shoes on? Shoes. Shoes. We're just going to chill because we can't wait for mom to come home tomorrow morning. Mom. Shoes. Shoes. So I just made up, this is like a bake at home bread. And I just made some pasta. We made a fancy drink in honor of mommy. And Teddy's still snoozing, so we're gonna try to chow down while he's snoozing. And we've got one babe down Don't asleep. Okay. We're reading books in the living room. We're in Jamie's after our bath. We're gonna see how bedtime goes for this little one. <gasps> Is he in the closet? No. Oh, oh, ah, 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 ah. Okay. Is he behind the door? Okay. Check behind the door. No. Mm. 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 Well, I surely hope Sarah vlogged some today because I did not. It is almost 10 o'clock. That means I've been awake for 22 hours. Um, but the kids, well, James has been asleep since a little after seven. Teddy got a nap, I'm sorry, Teddy got a bath and then we were reading and then he took a little bit to go down but he's been asleep since probably nine, maybe a little after. Um, I'm not doing a full cleanup. I just wanted to get some of the dishes the dishwasher running and clean the bottles and, and other things that need to get hand washed. Very excited for Sarah to come home tomorrow. We've been missing her like crazy. Um, I don't think I've told her this yet because I didn't want to tell her because I know she's been missing us, but like Teddy has been like missing Sarah. Like on FaceTime, some of the times he's gotten like sad or like I had her on speakerphone a little bit ago and he heard her and got like sad. So like it's interesting um, to see those kind of emotions develop and grow in children at different ways and different times and everything but we're all going to be very happy when we go to pick her up tomorrow morning at 11 a.m so with that it's good to be home here i am yet again back at christina's and i have to say i did not vlog as much as i wanted to with lauren and her family it was just such a full day you can see my stars lucy colored <laughs> them in um it was just wonderful. I'm just so, so grateful for this time. It was such a special day. Just like not have any worries and like just be there and help in any way I could. And it was just, it was just a really special day. And I know I have like, I think Lauren took some footage. She's always got my back with that. I did get pulled over when I left for a U-turn that I made intentionally that was legal. Um, however, I like slightly, I mean, and this is like truthful, I like clipped the curb and it was enough to pull me over. So that was kind of a bummer to end in. All I wanted was a Dr. Pepper, which I got. So quite the pricey Dr. Pepper, but 
then it came back to Christina's and just like snuggled with the kids. And now it's like fairly early and I'm gonna get good sleep. Both Peter and I have some sleep to catch up on. Um, I don't know how much he filmed today, but I ache to be with them. I just like, I hope the travel day just goes by fast and thankfully I have an early flight. So I will be leaving here at 5 a.m. So it is good to be home. And we're actually back in Chicago in like a little less than three weeks. So we will actually vlog <laughs> that trip to come. So you have that to look forward to. It's good to be home. I am here quite early um, and I have like 45 minutes until I board so I'm just strolling around. I got a chai latte from Big Shoulders. I was hoping they had coffee beans to bring home to Peter. I only have a personal item and so I don't have like a lot of room for souvenirs like not that I need to bring home souvenirs but that's fun. I actually did bring um, Fannie Mae chocolates home. Um, but anyways before my flight my goal is to see the skyline, as you can see it from one of the concourses. So that's where I'm off to next. This is really the top of this year's tower, but still nice because I didn't get to see the skyline or go downtown at all while I was here. So a little, a little peek at it will do. So glad you're here. We daily vlogs from Goody's video makes you come back every day. And we're going to get Sarah. She landed safe and sound. The boys slept wonderfully last night. We've had a great morning, eggs for breakfast, all the things. And we can't wait to pick up mom. And all is right in the world again. All right, before we head back home for the day to continue for work and everything, we're gonna get some Panera bread for lunch. Teddy Swift Dad's <laughs> bread bowl top. Peter got classic broccoli cheese. I actually got broccoli cheese too. I ordered one thing and then I was like, I'm gonna have my own. And then I got a Chipotle chicken melt. Boys got mac and cheese. What did you just go and get, Dad? A pecan braid. <laughs> All right, so part of we haven't talked about like getting the home ready or showing like tours of it um, because we've been like hanging stuff and life's been happening and busy like Sarah going to Chicago for a couple of days. Um, when we talked about moving here and like budgeting and planning for certain things, like two of the last three things that we like budgeted and planned to get are in the process of arriving. There's still one more thing we have to order that we haven't figured out which one. We're going to get buy a projector for the loft upstairs rather than having that TV there. We just haven't figured out which projector we want to get but we got chairs for the living room and carpets the carpet or carpets uh, rugs the rugs are arriving this week we got two rugs one for like the kitchen table and one for the living room because the the rug near the living room is going to move to where the kids area is and then the new rug for the dining room is going to go underneath the dining room it's like an oval and then a big square one it's gonna like go 12 under. feet wide by for the living room. Yeah. Nice. It's massive. But look at these funnily, these humorously shaped boxes. So here are two of the chairs. We're keeping our fingers crossed that we like vowed to ourselves after our debacle of our couch a couple years ago that we would never buy furniture online. But we did, we took a risk. And so I'm gonna open them up and we're gonna see what, how these look and feel. <laughs> Guys, this is comical. Look at that, how you open the box like this. It's just a chair in a box shaped like a chair. Oh, it's bigger than this. Yeah, we're happy about that. What are you doing? We're in the garage! 
Uh, you should have seen the kerfuffle between Sarah and I at home trying to figure out what we wanted to do, what we needed to do. Yeah. Should have, like, we figured out we just wanted to, this was like, the, I feel like this was the best of both worlds. We didn't have to like rush out. We don't have huge demands in the night. We're just gonna like peruse boardwalk, maybe see if there's a movie, some of the stars. We're gonna grab yeah. some food at one of the eateries. Yeah. We just heard like, we didn't want to like do the whole gusto of going to a park. We wanted to like, have stuff to do. Um, there's a playground here. Yeah. There's a, a volleyball court. Like we just want and be able to like, off the kids potentially just like run around. Yeah. And it's it's easier to let them run around here versus Disney Springs. Yeah. yeah. And we kind of like we're yeah. taking today just like breathe after like the quite different past few days we've had. You know, like everyone's kind of getting back on the swing of things. So seahorses get it. It's a horse from the sea. <laughs> I don't think James has ever actually seen this. I think it's every the top of every hour, unless it's every 15. I think it's the top of every hour. Ooh, that's kind of different over here, right? It's nice. Oh, he's gonna try this couch out. What is it? Uh, Sandlot. Something that he's been watching like a crazy amount. Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Ah. My personal fave. That's a great option. Cadet Kelly is Monday night, though. That's the real great option. Can we remember the, like, DisneyChannel.com game that was Cadet Kelly? I just, like, had that memory flash in my brain. All right, James, you come press this one. Push the button. Come press this button. Oh, not that one. <laughs> Yay. Yay! We got a big kid alert. Somebody is sitting over here eating his big kid meal. I got the pastrami Reuben. Yum. Sarah got a Caesar chicken salad. She was jonesing for uh, uh, a Disney Caesar salad, which hits different. And Jay, Teddy got a parfait, because. Yeah, he's gonna eat bits of everyone's, but he got fruit. Shake it, shake it. That was it. Have you ever seen a, a more gorgeous view right here? The sunset and gold hour in the background. Babies eating parfait. Mm. Other babies eating chips and grilled cheese. Bird. <laughs> He's a boardwalk boy. Dance, dance, dance. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Groove it, baby, groove it. Run that boardwalk, run that boardwalk, mile 25. Run that boardwalk, run that boardwalk, mile 25. What are these cool little lanterns and bean bags? It's a little too bright, so the sun will be there gone in like 15 minutes. Oh, sometimes you just gotta take a break. Oh, oh. oh no, he's gonna roll over me. Oh no. He knows this movie, all right. We got a baby over here playing with the stroller. Baby over here playing with the lantern, quoting the entire movie. I mean, we watch this movie a lot, but like, this is a proud moment for me. The Zeus and All right, so we finished up Hercules. And now we're going to be on the prowl for the DVC like license plate holder, the silver one. We haven't seen it in quite some time and we're just, we've only checked at the Magic Kingdom Resort. So tonight we're going to check all of these resorts and see if they have it. I should probably just look at the Shop Disney app. People are getting out on their balconies. 
Do you guys remember when we were sponsored by Citizens that one day? Yeah, that was awesome. Look at, it's like so humid. Look at my camera. They're getting ready for Epcot forever. Yeah, that was like five seconds after James was born. That was his first time at Disney was when I did a 5K and then you ran the 10K. in the distance we did we did wow it's not every day we come and visit all the crescent lake resorts but we're actually on a little bit of a mission today since we're here to do the laps look at this cute bench we're looking for a license plate holder for a disney vacation club not the one that's currently currently out there's like this series right before it i'm nervous that they just gotten rid of it yeah, that's an elevator. Not today, but soon. Ooh, boats. No luck on the DVC license plate holder. I found one on like a resale shop. So. I want to check out Saratoga Springs. Yeah. But Saratoga They're Springs usually has like a ton of DVC, DVC, but usually they have the, the latest and greatest. And there is a newer model of the license plate. Yeah, we want just the like silver one. So I had it home. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you're doing this video, make sure you come back every day. This is our fern. I don't even know if it's a fern. Today is a crazy day. I have 10 meetings at work. 10 back-to-back -back meetings. I'm right now taking like 10 minutes that I got in between meetings of one minute ending early, the other two breathe, play with my children, say hi to Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Um, Scowl Eve because she's been getting into some snackage today and the rugs that Sarah picked out and ordered arrived. Look how massive this thing looks. It's exciting. So uh, maybe I'll open one up. Both of the boys are asleep so I'm going to start prepping dinner. I am making some salmon burgers tonight. We're hopping on that Mediterranean diet and I'm making coleslaw to top them with so I used pickle juice, some mayo, sriracha, and then I'm gonna, oh, I put in garlic. I'm gonna add in this paprika and some pepper. And that's gonna be the little dressing. And then I'm just gonna mix in this pre-chopped classic coleslaw from Aldi in there. And that'll be our little topper. I think I'm also gonna chop up some tomatoes. Jump to dinner being done. I made some lemon potatoes in the air fryer. I chopped them in like all different sizes. Really small for Teddy medium for James and then wedges for us. So we have a little bit of everything. Made a homemade Caesar salad. And then there is the salmon burger. I thought they were gonna be a little bit more like salmon filet-ish. They're like definitely similar to the Aldi brand, like black bean veggie burgers. But I made a little the coleslaw, tomatoes. And there's, and there's our dinner. We're gonna eat it outside because Sarah wants to and it's gorgeous. I put out Winnie the Pooh and James came running across the uh, the joint. Doesn't this just look the coziest? Can you get my armor on? Yeah. Look at this crazy hair after putting the kids down. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>